Hey everybody, it's the Bessie Desk Lady herself here, Pam at the Paper Outpost, ready to show you an uh, idea, not a new idea, but uh, this is um, just something I was goofing around with today. I just, uh, I am not a sewer. I have no hand sewing skills. Zero. Okay, but I have a ton of embroidery floss and I have chubby needles. And let me, where's my chubby needle? Um, I think it's a yarn needle. And uh, so if you're looking for something to do that's very fun, very relaxing, kind of feels, kind of feels like needlepoint. Not sure if it's needlepoint because I really have no idea what I was doing, but I just wanted to sew, sl slow stitch. I think it's called slow stitch on paper. And um, so here was my first attempt. Um, yes, this is an old Nancy Drew book. Uh, so cool, right? Yep, big fan here. Uh, and I just, I drew a heart in pencil and I figured, I drew it in pencil because I thought I could erase it after, but I don't think I can get in there and erase it. So I ended up abandoning the pencil thing and I just freewheeled the others. But anyway, here's a little heart on paper, very easy to do. And um, I'll show you how I did that one. The next one I did, I, uh, Wanted to do some sm smaller flowers. Some some turned out better than others. Yes, yes. As I said, no skill here. <laughs> but um, I decided to fold the paper up a little bit because I thought maybe if I was doing smaller designs, I needed to have sturdier paper and I could achieve that by folding it. So I played with that and I can make that into something. We'll make that into something. And then I went off fancy pants and decided to try a word accented with some little rosette flower thingies. And that was very fun. These are all super easy projects. And if you're just sitting around, maybe you don't have a lot of supplies, but maybe you have an old novel or just something you're done with. You've got, you've got some book pages and you've got some thread and you've somewhere got buried in the house, an old yarn needle, darning needle, even a regular needle will work. It depends on the size of thread you're using. But since I'm using embroidery floss thickness stuff, um, I thought I'd go with, uh, the bigger needle because honestly if if uh, i would like to um welcome to anybody else who is part of the blind as a bat society and it's just much easier for me to uh, thread a needle that is um big <laughs> okay uh, all right so let me uh sit down to do this okay here i come my microphone is working well today i hope okay here we go all right, so I'm just using any regular page and I'm not going to uh, pre-draw the, the, the design, but maybe I'll just, um, I'm going to try something fancy this time. I'm going to try, I'm going to try a butterfly without pre-drawing it. Yeah, let's see if I can do that. Um, so we'll just do a basic shape and let's, uh, this is two pages. Let me do two pages. I think two pages is going to be a happy place. Two pages thick. Yeah, I'm going to do a butterfly this way. All right, right, let's. I have no idea if this is going to work. I'm just thinking about, okay, the basic shape of a butterfly. So I doubled this up. Oh, I learned that um, I'm, I didn't tie them in the back. Initially, I tied. Let me show you. Tied that. The knot went right through and had to chase it a couple times. So I think I'm just going to leave them untied and just tape them down. So what you want to do is hang on to the end so it doesn't run away on you as you're doing it. Um, okay, let's make a body about that long. Okay, here we go. Okay. And, uh, just sort of, let's see. Uh, uh, okay, filling in the body. The nice thing about this, you use the, you double up the threads and it, it fills things in pretty fast. Um, so you have some shape going on here. Okay, so let's, let's call that. Am I the right place? No, there. Okay, the butterfly body. Okay, all right. So that was what we're gonna call the body. I know, I know it doesn't look like a butterfly. All right, let's hope it turns out. Let's try the head next. Okay, no idea if this is going to work. Whoop, okay. All right, uh, see, butterfly heads are sort of wide. So let's get the width going first. I'm going through the same hole here. Going through the same hole. All right. And then let's sort of push in through the paper just so I can sort of see. Where am I? I'm not even close. Okay. How about there? Yeah. 
All right. This is going to sort of be the the flower, little rosette flower design thingy. I'm going to keep going like a little, I'm going to radiate around here, or maybe a little bit around here, and keep coming through the center hole. So let's pick the next hole oh, a little higher. See, once you poke it, kind of commit to it because the paper will tear. Because it's paper, right? Yeah, that's what paper does. All right. All right, let's try over here. Maybe flowers are easier. Why did I have to go straight to butterfly? Really? What were you thinking? What were you thinking? You were so fine with the flowers. What's that? Some extra piece. Hmm. I have no idea. Pro where did you come from? All right, let's see. Who, you, who do you... No. You? No. You? No. You? Who are you? And why are you here? I have no idea. <laughs> All right. Just pull it apart. Pull it apart. Must have grabbed something by accident. All right. Uh -uh. Well, this is well demonstrated, isn't it? <laughs> all right. Is it coming out? No, not at all. Well, we may, we, you know what? We're just going to cut you off. That's what we're going to do. We're going to not sit here and fuss pants with you. We're just going to eradicate the existence of you. Yeah, there, gone. Okay, figure it out later. Um, yay! <laughs> okay, back through the center. Okay. All right. Mm. Eh. Okay. It's starting to look like a little head, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, I can maybe even do antenna. That would be cute. All right. Seeing where my needle is there. Can you see that? Maybe I'm showing you right here. Okay, here, follow. Push in the, on the back of the paper to sort of see where the needle's going to poke through. Then I'm going back in here. Okay. There we go. You know, that actually looks like a really nice little flower, and maybe I should just stop there. <laughs> maybe I should just let go of my plans of grandeur. Yeah, I think maybe I will. And I'm just going to maybe put a little bit more grass down at the bottom here. Yeah, yeah, butterfly, schmutterfly, yep, 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 <laughs> okay, there, there's some grass over here, yeah, that's kind of cute, right, all right, there, and that was pretty fast, up through the same hole, and maybe a little piece over here, just to show some little grassage on the bottom, how cute is that? And maybe I'll just leave it like that. That's kind of cute. All right, so we'll leave that as that. So all I'm doing in my world of fanciness, shush, I know, shush, I heard you. Um, I, I don't, okay, I'm going to tape the back because I don't know where the, the hang on, let me get the tape. Okay, just got some thin packing tape here. Hang on. Okay. There. All right. Getting the edge. And I'm just going to cover the loosey gooseys on the back here. And there. Ah. Okay, so now I have that. I think that's kind of cute, right? And I could make a pocket out of this. I could do a million things out of this. So I could bring the back together. And, um, I like that. Okay, maybe I want to run around and do a little uh, stitch around the edge. I need a little more thread. That's not enough. Okay, here, let me undo some of this. Yeah, so how are you guys doing today? Everything's dandy over here. Uh, Sonny has uh, gone through his morning burst of play. And life as we know it is settling down. Holly and the birdies are up now and they're having their round of uh, excitement. So never a dull moment. Uh, it's just like spaghetti. Help. Um, okay, so you can see what I'm doing here. Um, there's an end, there's an end, yay. Okay, who, who designs this stuff? To, Cause it just like goes into knots. I think, I think that would be an, that could be a problem. <laughs> All right. Okay, going in a little closer now. Okay, whoop, no, that's not closer. Sorry. Um, right button? Okay, there we go. All right, thread the needle. 
thread and a needle. Come on, bat. Find your belfry. There we go. Okay, so now just making you kind of long. Right up until the knot. I took it till the till it's knotted. Okay, did I do that right? No idea. And I will sew together. No, I don't have to sew the edges, right? Because that's gonna a knot's gonna give me more of a bump in the back. So I don't really need the knot that much. Alright, so I think I'm just gonna go around the outside. What should I do? Should I do just a running stitch? Should I do okay, I'm holding it. See, I'm there. I'm gonna use my little my little fingers. Okay. Now I'm just gonna do a little running stitch. Okay, I think this is a running stitch. Okay. I'm saying okay a lot. <laughs> like I'm sweating here, like ah oh. this is like out of my comfort zone. But you know, you, you, if you don't go out of your comfort zone, oop. How do you learn, right? So it's it's time to put on big girl pants and out of the comfort zone we go. And my un, my comfort zone stops at the door of sewing and doesn't come in. So I have to like sh get behind myself and shove myself through the door. Yeah, with one big heave ho push and I'm in and I'm sewing or what, you know, kind of looks like sewing, um, but I think you can see the struggle in it. Isn't that great? <laughs> That's what I say. When something looks really handmade or messy or like uh, not the best workmanship you ever saw, you see the struggle in it. And that is the charm. That is the charm. Probably be better if I hold these book pages together. Um, I could have glued them first. That might have been a good idea. But uh, eh, we'll just see how it goes. We'll just see if we need that glue or not. Maybe we don't need the glue today. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, there we go. All right, now hopefully I have enough string to do this whole thing. So this is just an easy, you know, uncomplicated, sort of relatively speaking, um, thing that you can do where you don't need a lot of supplies. You may have this stuff on hand already, or you can probably access it at your local thrift star store without too much fuss. And I think it just, it lends a, um, I don't know, kind of like a little house on the prairie sort of look. Um, that kind of handmade, sort of rushed through look, like, you know, we weren't sewing it for the Queen of England. Ow! <laughs> but uh, this is probably where that thimble thing comes in handy. I never use that thing. That's always like, um, I don't know. A little uh, Barbie bar stool or something. Um, probably used it for more for things like that. Um, probably be a little small for Barbie. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe a kittle. Does anybody remember kittles? Kittles were like little tiny dolls. They were so cute. Um, okay, I, I kind of like this look. This little like wayward was lost something. You know what it reminds me of when I was making that wallet back in camp as a kid, summer camp. We had to make wallets. Did anybody else have to make wallets? These leather wallets and you had to sew the leather kind of with this thick like leather string and um, did ever, anybody ever really use that wallet? I never did. Um, yeah, no. I mean that's one of those things that sort of hung around in the, the toy room for a long time until probably my mother chucked it because she had more sense thinking, yeah, it's been around here forever. Nobody's ever going to use it. And uh, let's face it, the quality of the workmanship, little shoddy, little shoddy. <laughs> so, um, gosh, I hope I didn't give it to my parents. I'm, oh, I might have given it to my dad. I know darn well he never used it. <laughs> no, that would never happen. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's kind of cute, right? All right, so where are we? All right, we're, yeah, we're good. So we got that and let's tape her down, collar done. And then we have a little um, pocket. Maybe, do I have, no, I need to, I need to set up a new journal. Okay, well, we'll just have to. Ah, okay, there we go. Just a little tape, that was probably way too much. Okay, there we go. So nobody's going anywhere. Cute, huh? Yeah, I think that'll look really cute on the page as a little pocket. I'll just glue it on like this underneath. Um, onto a journal page. I think that'll be totally adorbs. Okay, so yeah, let me go over in case you, I mean, most of you probably know this because it's really, it's not rocket science, but um, 
This little flower design is very easy to do because if I can figure it out, that means anybody can. And let's just try some of these. Okay, let's try two pages together. See this one I folded up and I thought maybe I could um, tear it or I could even tear the whole thing out and use it as a book tab or something, or page tab or something. I don't know, I had random ideas just or as an accent. But I think this one I'll just do some, I'll just do some flowers. Okay, maybe we'll try, let's get the end. Okay, got the end. Let's do a medium sized flower. Okay, let's try. Look, now, now here's what you do. You go back through the same hole you made. See that? And you're holding on to the little tail in the back. Little, little tail is under my fingers. See that? I'm just holding it so it doesn't come and run amok. And I guess you could go in like a star, like a cross formation initially. It's pretty easy to find the original hole. Um, let's see. Okay. And then we can always fill in from there. I have no idea how this is, if this is, that's done the right way, but I just figure you can make, you can make some farther out that radiate out from the center of your flower. And then you can make some that are farther in. So let's try some closer ones. Ow, mother. That's where you need that thumb thimble thing. I guess there is a purpose to it. All right, fine. <laughs> All right, you thimble people, you win, you win. There is a purpose. Okay. But you can, these, um, yarn needles can be pretty dull, which is very nice for me because then I, I don't injure myself too much through the center. Okay. And over here. Okay. There's the center. Uh, oh, that wasn't the center. Okay. There we go. And then maybe just through the center again, but around another clump to try and pull all that together. Okay. That looks a little better. Okay, this guy kind of got separated. Okay, so it's not the best flower in the world, but I, I'm sure you can do better than me, right? Here. Okay, let's, no. Here. Okay. Oh man, this is, this is bad. Oh, I don't think I have enough. Oh, and I can't go back? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to have to cut you off. All right, we'll just cut you off, and then we we'll let you go back to the ethers. We'll put you fully out the side. There you go. Um, okay, so I got a, a little... That looks like a spider or something, doesn't it? Or maybe an aster flower. Okay. So let's say, so that would be basically this concept. Oh, they don't look like at all, do they? Well, except for that last one. He looks like he's from the same dysmorphic flower family. <gasps> oh, Lord. Okay, so now on to the word. Let's try a word. Let's try a word. I ran out of book pages. Hang on. Okay. So this I'm switching over to, I think this is a little thinner. It's called Cotton Pearl. It's a little thinner than embroidery floss. It might be crochet. It looks thicker than regular thread. I don't know what it is. Got it in a grab bag. Going to use it today. Okay, thread. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'll just get a nice long piece. I don't know how long. If, we, if it's not long enough, we just have to stop and, and then re-thread and carry on, right? Yeah, that's all we do. Okay, so we have that. So let's pick out a nice word. How about... Um, how about a nice three letter word like, um, fun? How about fun? You can do fun. Probably might start over here. All right, let's do fun. Okay. And, and I'm doing like, this is probably the cheater way because I'm making really long strokes in my letters here. You could probably do multiple little sewings down there, but, um, stitches, but, uh, eh, I just want to have fun just see if I can do a word quickly. Okay, so I'm going to come back to the top, going through the top hole, trying to find the top hole. Oh, found it. Okay. And we're going to do the F. F. So basically, the whole thing with this design concept that I'm sure somebody else designed, figured out way before me, is you just keep going through the same central hole. Um, I guess you don't really have to go there, but um, okay, I'm gonna go here, but that's how you guide yourself back to where you want to start. You, um, so come back out here. Okay. And back through that hole and that's going to complete my F. See, we're one third of the way there already. Look at that. How fun is that? <laughs> now I'm not even going to disconnect. I'm just going to start at the top. It's a little high about there. And down here. All right. 
You don't have to drastically hang on to that first piece as much because the tension of the workmanship is, is holding everything in place. That's right. This is workmanship. Workmanship. So womanship. So womanship. Sewing ship. <laughs> All right. Almost got my U done. It doesn't take long to make a letter. So if you, you could also do somebody's name. Gosh, am I embroidering names and words? That's That would be very fancy of me this morning. I'm not, I'm not holding my ho hopes up. So is this... Embro What's the difference between embroidery and needlepoint? Does anybody know? I bet those in the know know, but those of us on the outside looking in, little nose prints on the glass, we would like to know. Mm -hmm. We would like to know. What's the difference between embroidery and needlepoint? Oh, I think I'm going to run out of thread. Figures, huh? Let's see. Oh, it's going to be close. Really close here. Oh, can't quite make it. Unless, what, what, how far would you go? Go to there? That might work. Okay, let's see how far we can go. Okay, wait, we gotta stretch you out. Okay. Eh? Okay, so I'm gonna try there. I can just get enough of that thread through. Yeah, made it. Does that look like fun? Looks like fun to me. All right. That's how we get adaptable in our old age. Yes. <laughs> We call it a um, wacky font or something. All right. And this is what comes and saves the day. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll do Two pieces, maybe. Okay, we'll just glue you down so you don't run anywhere. And what well, we're not gluing, we're taping. Taping you down so you don't go anywhere. And then we've got the fun of it all. Okay, a little short on the end, but maybe it's funky font. Funky font. So we got fun. We got love. We got a heart. We got... An aster spider, and we got some cutie red snowflakes. So yeah, there's a lot of different things that you can do with this. So easy, words, shapes. Where's my other one? Oh, here it is. And you can make things out of them like a little pocket for your journal, or um, maybe this could be a bigger pocket for your journal. Where's my journal? Okay, let me grab that journal and I'll just show you. All right, okay, this is, all right, a temporary journal we're working in here. All right. Okay, so let's say you want to put a pocket down here. You could just glue that pocket in right there. That would look so cute. Just glue a, a big U and glue that down. And then you can stick things in it. Oh, it would be nice if you could see. It would be nice if you could see. Yes. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's how that would work. And uh, you could also make it an upper pocket and tuck things in under here. You can do that because it's your stuff. Or you could make it a, si a corner tuck, or you could even you could even do that if you wanted. And you could um, like you could tuck big things under it. If you glue it down on this end and glue it there, you can tuck big things in it, like fun. And um, fun, you could glue down to the whole page. That would be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> As an entire page de decoration, just an old, uh, you know, honoring of the old Nancy Drew book and then um, typing fun or typing. Yes, I, I, uh, I've now demonstrated typing with, with thread. <laughs> okay, um, let me get you a better close picture here. And um, okay, so that's those two and um, the other thing you could do is you could take one and you could glue it to two pages. Yep, you could do that. So let's say, because the back you can't really show on this, you could cover it with another book page. Mm -hmm. And it could be like the little cover of a journal. You could do that. Or you could make it a cross border thing like that. Like they open up the page and the spread comes across and you could decorate around it. That would be very, very cute. Um, what else was the other one? Okay, we have a heart. Okay. You might glue the heart straight down. You might trim around it. You know, you don't have to keep the page as is. You can trim around it and just, you can trim it in a rectangle or um, the shape of the heart. You could do that and just use it as some, a piece that you might want to put in the center. And um, this little guy you might want to use as an accent somewhere. I'm just going to be brave and tear him out and see how that looks. Let's just try this. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're just being, we're just having fun today. Just trying different things. Got to be experimental with this stuff and you can't be afraid. Got to go bold because that's where the fun lives. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. All right. So you guys, I didn't tape down. Let me tape you down. Let me tape you down. 
It's, um, you could do it single threaded too, so it's not so bumpy. Or you could uh, uh, do it with thinner thread. That would also make it less bumpy. It does have a little bit of thickness to it because I'm using the doubled embroidery floss. But if you put it on the corner of a page or something like that, it looks really cute. Like a little accent or something like that or over here. You know, maybe too much with the lines, but here maybe. You could put it on an angle. You can put it straight like that. You can have it hanging over the side a little bit. It looks really pretty against the avocado color paper um, with the natural book page. Or you could put it as a central little uh, doodad. Um, so you could uh, make it part of your uh, page tab or you could actually make a page tab out of these. I would probably back them then with another piece of this. So let's say, let's just say, say if we said we were going to do that, what would that look like? Okay, let's try it. Just get, let's go deep. We got a few minutes. All right. Just having a little crazy random ideas here. Um, I'm just using some Fabrifix, clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. And we're just gonna, it's on the back here because that's gonna show. That's okay. I'll just put you, put you here. Okay. So now, just give it a second to grab around and tear basically the same shape and this would be definitely thick enough to be a page tab mm -hmm. yep okay you want to ink it up a little bit you can do that you don't have to but you can all right you can ink up back oh i've got more than one page that's why this one is coming out i don't really need that one that was an extra double Okay, just to say we did, we were thorough. Okay, and you could also hang these from the center of your little strings. I don't know if I have a little string in here. Let me see if I do. Here, a little string. Here, a little string. Nope. Where's the string? There's got to be a little. There it is. Hmm. Boy, that's that's thin thread I used. Um, like it when you were making it, you could actually have glued the front onto the string and put the back on the string, and then it could be a little dangle. A very vet that would be very cute or you could take a bunch of these and um, do that same thing with strings and then seal them on the back with the other you know the back piece that you were going to glue and glad put the string in the center we should make something like that like some spine dangles with just stuff made out of paper <gasps> that would be so cool right yeah let's do that okay um and then you could have a whole bunch of these coming down a bunch of strings and yarns and stuff and use those as your uh, uh, spine jewelry. Wouldn't that be cool? And they don't all have to be sewn things. They could be stamped things. They could be, oh, we just have so many ideas. Well, I just got to do a video on that. Okay. Um, so there you go, folks. I hope you liked this idea. This was a lot of fun. I love hanging out with you guys. Um, if you had fun here, please like, subscribe, and share. And um, click the notification bell to be notified of new videos coming out. And... Um, uh, check out my Amazon store for favorite tools and supplies that I use. Uh, if you're looking for anything similar to those, I have a Etsy shop which has vintage digital kits that you can download and print out. And I also put in there periodically some journals that I finish as well as gift bundles and all sorts of other uh, crazy kooky things as they come along. And I may just pop them in there or I may uh, do a big whoop de doo announcement and have a video and social media splash and all that. You just never know. So take a peek every once in a while. And um, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter which uh, you get a junk journal tip free uh, digital image email to you monthly a checklist of supplies which is about seven or eight pages long uh, along with a notebook from the bookmaker which explains exactly what a junk journal is and different ways that you can use it in case you're giving it to somebody who has never come across one of these little lovelies before and um, uh, my videos come out mondays wednesdays fridays and saturdays at 7 a.m eastern time my podcast come what is, is it better if i sing it probably right probably not oh well sorry podcast come out tuesdays and thursdays i should pick a tune that would be better <laughs> and they're free to listen to if you have apple spot podcast or spotify or a bunch of other platforms or if you don't have any of those just check for the link below in the description box drop down box you can also find me on instagram pinterest etsy twitter linkedin facebook come and join our facebook group it's called the paper outpost fb group 
You can show us what you make from all these crazy videos, or you can do the weekly and monthly challenges, or you're welcome to come and lurk, which means you don't do anything other than observe and get inspired. So if you're having fun, please keep having more fun. Remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.